Hey everybody and welcome to another VTOL VR video. My name is Scary Spikes and in today's video we're going to show you some ground attack techniques with the AGM-65, the Maverick and of course the GBU-38 GPS guided bomb. So stay tuned. Let's get started. Alright everybody, so we're on the target practice map here and we're going to be flying around looking for some stuff to bomb. Uh, we're going to first start with the GBU-38s and then move on to the AGM-65s. So in order to get started with your GBU-38s, uh, there is a few things that you need to do, or there are a few things that you need to do. First and foremost, we need to turn on the appropriate displays. So because the GBU-38 is a GPS guided bomb, we're going to need some navigation information here, and then we're also going to need our GPS screen here. Uh, if I zoom in just a little bit here and uh, m click on this button up here to make this soy or the sensor of interest, we can see that we have some targets here and this is what we're actually going to go for. So we're going to zoom in and we see that we have some targets there. And what we're going to do is we're going to try our very best to uh, get that crosshair right over top each target. There we go. And then we're going to click on GPS send. Kind of tough there we go that's close enough we'll click on gps send again go to the next one that one's pretty good gps send ever so slightly there we go and gps send so now on the gps screen here we can see that we have all four of the targets that we've designated on here i'll show you how to do this with the tgp as well but for now we're just going to go ahead and move towards this so we're going to go ahead and zoom out so we have a good idea of where we're at and we'll go ahead and reset this as well so we're going to have to start to turn and um, basically at this point what we need to do is we need to arm. So turn on the master arm and you're going to see this little circle. So there's an inner circle and an outer circle. We have the GBU-38 selected already. There is a little arrow right there that you can see that's actually guiding us uh, to the target. So uh, when that is straight ahead, then you're flying straight towards your target. And then you're going to have a little thing come down um, on the center. Let's just go ahead and straighten out here for a second. There we go. Um, as you get closer to your target, which is just right there, you're going to have a little thing come down and that little tiny thing that comes down there, you want to try to release it at the very least within the large circle, but uh, for more accuracy, you want to release it in the, uh, the small circle there. Um, the other thing that we need to do is if we want to release the bombs and have them each individually target one of our targets here, we just need to quickly go over to the equipment and then on the GBUs, which are going to be down here we're going to click on that and we're going to click on auto and now we can go back and we can fly towards the target autopilot disengaged there we go autopilot disengaged shoot there we go and we'll go ahead and two three four all right all those bombs are away now and we're just gonna dive over onto the right hand side here now these would have all already found their targets and because we've set the targeting to auto uh, we should be able to see all of those bombs find their targets eventually and there we go good stuff and as you can see there we've blown up all of the targets so that's how to utilize uh, the GBU 38 using the nav screen it's uh, really quite easy. Uh, if you want to just go one target at a time, uh, you can go back into the home screen, go back to equipment, and then back in your GBU-38 configuration. You can switch the target to uh, dumb, which uh, that'll actually have a little CCIP marker there, so you can use it as a dumb bomb, um, or you can change it back to manual. And at that point, what you wanna do is just select whatever target you want that particular bomb to hit, and then again, follow the same technique as I mentioned earlier, and uh, that bomb will find that target. If you go into auto, the bombs will basically try to find all of the targets within their uh, targeting envelope, so to speak. So as long as they're all within sort of the same area, um, then the bombs will each independently find their own target as they did just there. All right, let's go ahead and restart the mission and show you how it's done with the TGP. 
All right, so we're back up in the air and let's go ahead and switch over to the TGP way to deploy the GPU 38. The very first thing that we're going to need is we're gonna to need to go ahead and make sure that our master arm is set to on. Then for our uh, screens here, we're gonna go ahead and switch the TGP on and uh, this might not be on for you already i've already turned it on but if it's not then you just want to hit the power button right here and me personally i like to click on the limb button here just to remove uh sort of the the display for the physical limitation of the gimbal as i kind of already know what it is so i i just like to get rid of that so it's not obstructing my view uh, now for the uh GBU 38s, uh, we did already do this, but you do want to go back into your equipment screen. Uh, we'll hit back, and then you do want to make sure that under GBU 38, you have it armed. And then uh, under target mode, you've got that set to auto, since we'll be attacking the same four targets as before, but this time we'll be designating them with the uh, TGP instead of with the nav menu. So we're gonna go ahead and head back home, and then we're gonna go ahead and back into the GPS. All right, we're gonna slow a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and start making a turn. And what we want to do is, again, we want to engage our GPU 38s. There we go. And we'll make a nice little turn. And start heading towards the target area. All right, we'll turn on the autopilot for now to hold our wings level uh, while we look into where the targets are. So we're going to head up to home for a second here. We're going to head over to nav. And you can see we're pretty much heading straight for them. So the nav screen can also help you. We're gonna go ahead and make the TGP the soy or the sensor of interest. And when we grab the stick here, uh, we're gonna be able to use the joystick, as you can see there, that's moving around. And what you'll be able to see too is that as we move this uh, around, our camera's moving around. And then we also have this little uh, mark here. This little square is gonna be where the TGP is facing. So if we move it up a little bit, it's moving pretty quickly. At this point, we can kind of zoom in a little bit. And then we can start moving it slowly over. And we should be able to, sooner than later, find those targets. What we can do as well, to be a little bit more precise, is zoom in on the nav map here, and then head back into this and make that soy and then move a little more over to the left. And there we go. So now we can head back into the GPS screen and zoom in a little bit more on this. Actually, that's about as far as we can go. And there we go. So we've got a target there. Simply, all you need to do is just put the reticle over it and it'll, um, it'll basically target it. We wanna then just send the GPS coordinates over. So we'll go GPS send. Next one over, GPS send, GPS send, and GPS send. Uh, and now we're gonna disengage autopilot and we're gonna fly towards the target's heading. And it's gonna be basically the same thing. You're just gonna wait for that indicator to make its way inside the small circle. I'll zoom this out just a little bit so we get a better view. Right, so there's the indicator. We do need to turn a little bit to the left. Shoot. Okay, and here we go, pickle times four. There we go, and then once the bombs are clear of the aircraft, we'll turn away, and a little bit more actually. There we go, and now we'll zoom out. We should be able to see four good hits. And there we go, four good hits. That is extremely satisfying. <laughs> and that is how to use the GBU-38 GPS guided bomb. As you can see, again, we had four targets here. All of them went boom. And uh, the reason why each of the uh, bombs found its own target is because if we go back, remember, into the equipment screen and we click on the GBU-38 here, this is going to show you that we've had our target mode selected to auto. And again, when you have that mode set to auto, uh, as long as you uh, have all of your targets independently uh, sent to the GPS system, each of those targets will be designated a bomb. You just have to remember to drop the same amount of bombs as you have targets and you'll be good to go. All right, so that is how to utilize the GBU-38. Let's now move on to the AGM-65 anti-ground missile, otherwise known as the Maverick. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get set up for deploying our Mavericks. And for the Mavericks, we're gonna be using the TGP. Let's just go ahead and get wings level here for a minute. There we go. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do, of course, as always, master arm, turn that on. And then we're gonna head over to the right MFD here and we're gonna turn on our TGP. And it's still kind of pointing into the direction of our burning targets that we just took out with our GB38. So uh, to go ahead and reset that position, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just click on the appropriate button, which should be FWD here for forward. And we're gonna go ahead and zoom out. There we go, and we're good to go there. Uh, and then for a little bit of navigation, uh, we want to just select our navigation screen here and we'll reset that as well, zoom out a little bit and then we can start looking for our targets. So essentially, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to my AGM-65 here. We're gonna go ahead and start uh, doing a turn over here. And we're gonna be looking at that bridge because from what I understand, we had some enemies down on that bridge over there heading towards the city. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that our TGP is our soy or sensor of interest, which it is, but you can see that green border around the screen. We're gonna zoom in slightly, and we're gonna go ahead and grab the stick, and we're gonna start scanning that bridge. All right, and so let's go ahead and just zoom in a little bit more now that we've got the bridge in sight and see if we can find some enemies. So far, nothing there. Keep on scanning them. Now, they may have already made it across the bridge, although I think those are them right there. There we go. Um, so once we have our enemy selected, what we're gonna do is we're gonna nose down just a little bit and we're gonna get that shoot cue. So we're gonna go rifle, 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 and rifle. At this point, the uh, missiles are fire and forget. So they're gonna go ahead and find their targets, but we're gonna go ahead and keep tracking them to make sure that they are gonna be destroyed. Zoom out just a little bit here as we're getting closer to our targets. Shoot. And there we go. Everything is blown up to smithereens. <laughs> that is extraordinarily satisfying. As you can see there, everything is completely blown up. Let's go ahead and get a little closer look here if we can. Oh yeah. Yep, those guys are toast. So there you go, that is how to use the AGM-65 Maverick with the TGP. Now, uh, of course, you can do that as well with pretty much any other ground targets that you might have. So let's go ahead and reset this and zoom this out. Um, if you put this onto ground targets as well, it will work uh, just as easily. Uh, it's basically just going to go exactly where you've pointed it. Um, it works really well with vehicles just because, again, it's fire and forget. So um, you can simply just point in the direction of a vehicle, lock it up on the TGP, let it fly. At that point, you can break away and you don't have to worry anymore about whether you're going to hit the target or not because that uh, AGM is going to be dead set on hitting its target. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyable. And if you did, you can help me out in a huge way by just remembering to like the video and sharing it with your friends and communities. Of course, if you'd like to go above and beyond, you can help me in a much bigger way by becoming a channel member right here on YouTube or uh, a patron on my Patreon page. Links for that can be found down in the description below. Sorry, I'm just trying to fly and not hit any buildings here. And uh, yeah, do let me know about your thoughts and anything else that you might want to see in the future. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Bye.